Hi, my name is Katie and I'm a travel agent and I would like to share with you today my recent experience at the JW Marriott in Washington, D.C. The JW Marriott is a Marriott-owned luxury hotel located in the heart of Washington, D.C. It is located on Pennsylvania Avenue, just two blocks from the White House and a five to ten minute walk from the National Mall. It is on the end of the National Mall closer to the Washington Monument. It's also located very close to the Little Theater District there, near Ford's Theater, the Warner Theater, and the National Theater. There are tons of shopping and dining opportunities within easy walking distance, as well as a CVS just two blocks away for any of your last minute needs. When you arrive, they did have a completely separate from the street area that you could pull in, unload your car, and they did offer valet parking. There was no self-park option sponsored by the hotel, but there is some self-parking located nearby if you decide to do that, but I definitely recommend valet. They had excellent service. There's also Bell Services Desk right inside of the entrance, and they can hold your luggage if you've arrived prior to check-in or if you are checking out but not yet leaving. When you enter the hotel, it's very cavernous. You do have the check-in desk right to your right. You have a ton of small seating areas, some with TVs, some with areas to work on a laptop, and you have the visual access to all of the ballrooms and workspaces. There were a lot of ballrooms and event rooms, meeting rooms at this hotel, so it's definitely a hub for business meetings, weddings, things like that. There was also a small business center with some computers and a printer that you could use and a whole FedEx office. There was a lot of fun DC themed artwork throughout the hotel. There was this large piece in the back of the lobby and then there was another large piece here that was right in front of the restaurant. And then there were some fun pieces in the hallways and the rooms as well. It was a really nice touch. There are several dining options here, including the Avenue Grill, which offered a basic American menu, including a buffet breakfast option. There were lots of comfy seating here, and it was a very welcoming environment. Across the lobby, another dining option was the 1331 Lounge, which was mostly a bar, but also had some lounge seating. They did have a menu with some bar food options, as well as lots of drinks, and it's apparently home of the Ricky. And of course, they also have room service here. We had a really good experience with breakfast one morning. The food was excellent and the service was quick and we were very happy with our options. The gift shop in the lobby also had a small Starbucks as well as some grab and go options like pre-made sandwiches, salads, and breakfast items. It also had pre-packaged things like chips and Oreos and candy and all that kind of thing as well as a freezer section where they even had some little pints of ice cream. Of course, the gift shop also had gift items. They had a number of items that were JW Marriott DC branded, as well as just generic DC items. There were a number of higher end items, including jewelry. There was a little kids section, and then you had some of your basic travel tchotchkes as well. The hotel also had a very well-appointed large gym, lots of different equipment of all kinds. They also had locker rooms, so there was a space for you to change if you needed to. There's also a large courtyard in the middle of the hotel accessed right near the gym, so you could get a little bit of outdoor time if you wanted. The elevators here were very nice, very efficient. We never waited too long. The hallways were very clean and nice. I enjoyed the artwork as well as quiet. I never experienced any noise. So overall, the common areas we were very happy with. Now onto the star of the show, our room. We had a king corner view, monument view room, and it was fantastic. The room itself had a lot of space. It had this full closet here, as you can see, and there was a safe, an iron, and an ironing board in there, as well as robes, and a little luggage rack, and a full-length mirror. Lots of storage space in there. Extra pillows as well. 
flipping around by the entrance, we have this little beverage cooler and a coffee station, some complimentary waters. We've got the Keurig style coffee maker there with some coffee teas and little Biscoff and all of that is included and they can refill that with housekeeping daily. And that's just a little fridge there. So there's actually a good amount of room in there. And here's the entrance and there's a good amount of space to drop all your stuff right there shoes bags whatnot here's the bathroom this was the only part of the room that i didn't love i typically like when they split a room with the sink on one side shower and commode with a door but it was a little cramped in here this was a bit of a cramped space but the shower was large And then there was a door here, so it seems this could have been a connecting room as well if you needed more than one bedroom. We did have a whole desk, trash can, ice bucket, wheelie chair there, as well as the plug that had USB outlets. And then here's a look at the main part of the room. Here's the bed. We had nightstands with storage on each side, phone, Plenty of lighting here. You even had the individual little reading lights that you could turn on and move around, as well as a bedside light. Still had some USB ports there, as well as standard plugs, and three drawers on each side. There was another set of drawers under the TV, and this TV was equipped so that you could sign into your Netflix account. The bed was very comfy. And here's a look from the other angle. And the real star of the show here was the view. The corner view with two sets of curtains. We do have the table and chairs there. That chair was very comfortable. And you could see all the way down the street to the Capitol there. See the little park right in front of the hotel. On the other side, you could see the Washington Monument there. There's some hotels there, as well as the World War I Memorial was right down there as well. And now, if you could see through those trees, that is right where the White House is. And here's another look at that table and chairs. And we scooted the other chair over there and used that to eat. So we had two chairs, which was nice. And really, I just can't say enough about this view. It was spectacular. I mean, there was even like golden photography hour in the room, sun up, sunset. It was great. At night, it was a really cool view, really fun place to take pictures. Um, you could see a ton. I didn't notice a lot of road noise. There was a little bit. I don't think anything more than you would get at basically any other room in this hotel or most city hotels. But if you're really sensitive, I would bring some earplugs. And we even could see some fireworks that I'm pretty sure were being set off at the baseball stadium. But this room certainly for 4th of July when they set off the fireworks at the mall, you would have a fabulous view. So this was a great room. I really enjoyed the room itself. I absolutely loved the view. 100% would stay here again. This hotel overall, similar feeling. I liked everything about it. The location was absolutely fantastic. We did some morning runs on the mall. We walked everywhere. You could easily have walked the metro if you wanted to go further afield in DC as well. So for me, five out of five stars for this hotel. Would stay again, highly recommend. And if you are looking to travel to DC, I would love to help you. I would love to be your travel agent. There are no extra fees for booking with me, but you get expert advice and experience. So here's my email on the screen. Please reach out for a free no obligation quote and enjoy your travels.